Have you ever tried to mine a small market cap coin only to struggle to make it work? In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to mine over 60 different coins using our multi-miner. We're gonna walk you through each coin available on the latest edition of our multi-miner. Initialize each one and let it mine for a bit and tell you a little bit about the coin as we go. Aeon, announced in 2014, it has gone up over 900x at its peak since inception. A fork of Monero, it is currently valued at $20 million. Acroma, a proof of work proof of stake hybrid, Acroma has a simple masternode setup and a highly transparent team. Here, Acroma is hashing at 254 mega hash on Fairpool with one of our A8 model 8 GP mining rigs. Alco, launched late 2017. Alco supports high interest masternodes, has a $5 million market cap, and is at an all time low in price for 2018. Launched in June of 2018, Arkma is so committed to decentralized mining, it is not only ASIC resistant, but also anti nice hash. It has taken features from several coins and aims to follow for off channel settlement and instant micropayments. Bitcoin Interest Bitcoin Interest uses the Equihash mining algorithm and has a staking mechanism that allows users to gain interest on their coins without ever having to move them from their wallets and offers lockup times as low as one week. Bitcoin. A privacy coin launched in 2012, Bitcoin has fast two-minute block times, which means more transactions per second than larger peers. It also has a $500 million market cap. Bismuth. Bismuth seeks to be developer-friendly by being the first crypto developed in the Python programming language, betting that this will help grow a big developer community and application ecosystem. Bitsum. Both CPU and GPU mineable, Bitsum is a relatively new social messenger-based privacy coin valued at $283,000. Bitcoin Private. A double hard fork from Z Classic and Bitcoin, it is a version of Bitcoin with only a two and a half minute block time and larger block size. Callisto, based on the Ethereum protocol and developed by Ethereum Classic developers, it has a working staking mechanism which allows users to make interest on set-aside or staked coins, and is valued at $7 million. Dubai Coin, at a $5 million valuation, Dubai Coin hails from the Middle East North Africa region, and has several upcoming projects on its roadmap. Our rigs support many dual mining options. These mining options have been optimized to maximize the hash rate of the primary coin, so you don't sacrifice your base hash rate when mining uh, with another coin. This setting is of course customizable if you want to mine a larger percentage of the secondary coin. As for the secondary options, Decred, Library Credits, Pascal, and Sidecoin, we'll be profiling them in our next movie. While this is an AMD rig, our multi-miner supports both AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards in single and dual mining modes. Follow us on Twitter for more on release dates of this and other new and exciting products and services. Dero, based on decentralized DAG technology, Dero boasts 12 second blocks and transactions with two minute confirmation times. Written from scratch in Golang, Dero is relatively new, having only been listed on CoinMarketCap since May of 2018 and it's currently at a less than $2 million market cap. Digibyte. At a $400 million market cap, Digibyte's price continues to have a nice upward trend. Digibyte is mineable by five different algorithms and can handle almost 100 times more transactions per second than Bitcoin. Electronic Dollar. Both GPU and CPU mineable, EDL is based on Monero's CryptoNote protocol and has many wallets and even a payment gateway on its near-term roadmap. Elism. 
a sub $1 million market cap coin, Elism is philosophically opposed to difficulty increases and forking and has a very active GitHub repo. Elia. Elia is the token of a Singaporean telecom company striving to make prepaid phone services carrier independent and provide a market for users to transfer unused funds to others with its token. Follow us on Twitter for more on release dates of this and other new and exciting products and services. Ethereum Classic. A fork of Ethereum, Ethereum Classic is committed to an immutable ledger, has an active development community, and is valued at $1.5 billion. Ethereum Classic is also dual mineable. We'll now mine each of the dual mineable options. Pool selection. All coins support at least one mining pool. We choose our pools based on five factors. One, location. Mining to faraway pools adds latency and can result in excessive stale shares. Two, pool fee. Many pools charge fees in excess of 2%, which cut into your mined earnings. We choose pools that have low fees. Three, reliability. We also choose established pools that have little to no interruptions in service, so you don't have to worry about your rig going down because the pool shut down. Though this becomes harder to do, with lesser known coins. Four, pool hash rate slash number of miners. If there are too few miners, the chance of finding and solving a block uh, is affected and results in inconsistent payout. So we look for pools with a critical mass of hash rate. Five, SSL. Using SSL improves security and can reduce the risk of malicious attacks. Ethereum, the second highest market cap coin behind Bitcoin only, Ethereum is pioneering a large-scale smart contract ecosystem and has several other ambitious projects on its roadmap. Ethereum is also dual mineable with a few coins and we'll now show you that. So we started out with 20 plus coins, we're now at 60, and we've actually beta tested over 100. One of the reasons we keep increasing the number of supported altcoins is due to the feedback from hundreds of our customers who've expressed interest in mining what they consider promising small market cap coins. We're constantly adding new coins, and if a customer wants to mine a coin that we don't currently support, they're free to make a request, and we almost always make it happen. Follow us on Twitter for more on release dates of this and other new and exciting products and services. Electronium. Initially, ETN forked with Monero and other crypto night algorithm coins to V7 to be ASIC resistant. After a few months, on July 5th, they forked back to the original crypto night algorithm. Electronium aims to be mobile phone mineable. ETP. The token of Metaverse, ETP was founded by a co-founder of the NEO project. ETP was seen as a sleeper and has risen from a $20 million market cap one month ago to nearly a $100 million market cap as of today. Expanse. The relatively large following, Expanse was an early public fork of Ethereum back in 2015, seeking to be a more decentralized version. It is now at about an $8.5 million market cap. Feathercoin. At a $16 million market cap, Feathercoin has been around for over five years and with Recent wallet releases, technology upgrades, and a new development foundation pushing quite a bit of code on GitHub, it may go further. Graft. A payment platform built on Monero's blockchain, it is built to work with existing credit card infrastructure, where it seeks to be able to accept many crypto and fiat currencies. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be asking you to do that a few times. And if you'd like to see other coins added, leave us a comment down below. We might add them to our docket. Also, visit us at bit49.io if you'd like to purchase or learn more. Hush. Hush forked from Zcash over a year and a half ago, and at a $1 million market cap, is currently less than 30x its all-time high. Intense coin. 
relatively new, Intense Coin is a sub $1 million market cap coin leveraging Zcash's technology and mining algorithm, and has a similar coin emission schedule as that of Bitcoin. Komodo, valued at $150 million, Komodo is building an ecosystem of standalone blockchains to enable atomic swaps, which allows users to exchange different assets without an intermediary. Carbonowek, a low transaction fee Monero fork, KRB is a 1.5 million market cap coin focused on adoption. It also has quite a bit of ongoing GitHub activity for a coin its size. Loki, a new privacy coin at less than a $5 million market cap, Loki has a ton of GitHub activity and a big following in the mining community. Masari, valued at $2.5 million, Masari is a privacy coin that recently did an Ask Me Anything on Reddit, showing a remarkable amount of transparency for a privacy coin. Music coin, Music coin is applying the blockchain to the music economy and streaming services, and is at a $5 million market cap. It's been around since 2017 and has a large Twitter following. MusicCoin is also dual mineable with a few other coins, which we will now show you. Hash rate stability and longevity. I'd like to take the time to explain the interrelationship of these three. So many miners only look at hash rate and that's, that's it. Well, that's fine for people who have free electricity and who don't care about the longevity of their GPUs. But if you pay for your electricity like we do, higher power consumption means higher, a higher electricity bill and that cuts into your mined earnings. Um, too high of hash rate can also affect stability, resulting in having to constantly monitor your rig to keep it up and running. And uh, if you run your GPUs too hard for too long without adequate ventilation, it can affect the longevity of the GPU. So ultimately, you want the trifecta of performance, stability, and longevity. You, you don't want to look at hash rate so much, but rather what we call efficiency. Hash per watt, or technically hash per joule. And you want to keep in mind stability and longevity as well as hash rate. Niconium, an Ethereum fork by a Japan-based team for experimentation, Niconium is currently valued at $53,000, down from its $10 million all-time high. Pegas Coin, using the ETHASH algorithm devoted to ASIC resistance, Pegas Coin currently boasts 30-second block times and has an active staking mechanism. Pigeon Coin, Pigeon Coin is a Ravencoin spin-off focusing on social media privacy. Pigeon Coin's hashing algorithm strives to even out block rewards to miners, even when network hash rate fluctuates. Pearl, some say Pearl is oversold relative to similar coins. In polls we've run on Twitter, the Pearl community has shown a strong following, consistently outvoting rival coins and evidencing its popularity. Pearl is based on the Ethereum codebase and has masternodes, which, at the time of this writing, are set to increase in rewards, and some think that will increase demand. Pennycoin. Pennycoin had no pre-mine and is ASIC resistant. It is focused on adoption and hopes to put up several websites where its coin is accepted for payments. Quantum Resistant Ledger QRL is building a blockchain capable of resisting attacks made possible by any unforeseen developments in quantum computing and is at a near all-time low at $22 million. Arto A pretty new privacy coin with a well-laid-out roadmap, Arto had no pre-mine and has an ambitious growth plan for 2019. Ravencoin, an ASIC resistant coin launched without an ICO and no pre-mine, Ravencoin is valued at $70 million and has lots of GitHub activity. Ryo, Ryo currency is a new privacy coin based on Monero with a great marketing presence, a lot of daily GitHub activity, and a low $3.5 million market cap. Solus, a charity-focused coin that seeks to make even old laptops capable of mining, it has released several wallets and has a $13 million market cap. SumoCoin, a new privacy coin valued at $1 million and yet to be listed on a highly liquid exchange, SumoCoin has several wallets slated for release later this year. Follow us on Twitter for more on release dates of this and other new and exciting products and services.
Triton. Also CPU mineable, Triton is a new coin with a fairly active GitHub repo and a rather low historical price, currently at one cent. Ubik. Ubik launched in 2014 and is a smart contract platform seeking to improve on Ethereum's code base. It currently has a $44 million market cap. If you're wondering how to get a hold of our software, it's only available at the moment on our mining rigs, but we're looking to deploy a version to the public in about a month. Some other things to know about us. We also have dedicated full-time tech support staff to assist our customers with any mining needs. We've been in the business for almost a year and a half, though our CTO has been actively involved with cryptocurrency, both on the software and hardware side, since as early as 2009. Follow us on Twitter to learn more about us or visit our website. Votecoin. Votecoin is an anonymous elections and voting platform based on Zcoin ZeroCoin protocol. Haven. Both ASIC and NICE hash resistant and having had no pre-mine, Haven wants to overcome market instability by facilitating asset storage in offshore banks. They also have a relatively large community for their size. Monero. A privacy coin true to ASIC resistance, Monero is one of the most popular staple or large market cap coins to mine and is usually ranked in the top 10 or so coins by market cap. Follow us on Twitter for more on release dates of this and other new and exciting products and services. Monero V. Forked from Monero, Monero V aims to have a limited number of coins and to tackle scaling problems facing the likes of Monero and Bitcoin. Our next multi-miner is planned to be released soon and will support 20 more coins. The development on a Windows-based GUI version should be ready for release in the coming weeks and will support over 100 coins with several different pool options. Wondering how to make sense of which coins to mine? Subscribe below or follow us on Twitter to be the first to know when we roll out our What to Mine services. Private Pay, also CPU mineable, Private Pay just released its white paper and is a very new coin. Its roadmap includes a debit card and integrations into common website platforms for e-commerce. Serenite. Serenite is an ASIC resistant coin focused on peer-to-peer -peer cloud storage via smart contracts. Stellite is a privacy coin focused on mobile phone mining in a way that won't drain battery life or slow down phone speeds. Stellite has several wallets out there and is a sub $1 million coin with a ton of recent GitHub activity. Ultranote. ASIC resistant, Ultranote seeks to be an all-in-one payment solution by allowing users to choose different levels of privacy in a given transaction. Miners can also directly mine to their user-friendly GUI wallets. Zcoin, a privacy coin started as a Johns Hopkins graduate student project. Zcoin has several participants with lots of development experience and is almost a top 100 coin by market cap. Zclassic. Z Classic is an ASIC resistant cousin of Zcash at a $61 million market cap. Its founders opted out of a 20% founders fee used by Zcash, which many find very high. Zcash, another privacy coin among the top 20 cryptocurrencies by market cap, Zcash remains one of the most popular coins to mine for those using Nvidia GPUs, but for now has forked to be ASIC friendly. Based on Zcash's Equihash algorithm, Zencash aims to be an end-to-end -end encrypted money network. It has a large following and at the time of this video is a top 75 market cap coin. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our video. If we didn't feature your favorite coin, let us know before we publicly release our multi-miner. And to stay posted on when that will be, subscribe to our YouTube channel below.